unlike my week in my life that you should watch that is unrealistic this is really realistic so I'm moving and I'm already out of bed so I'm not gonna get in bed to film myself getting out of bed um yeah that most people seem to do uh, maybe one day I aspire to be that person one day this camera is so heavy I'm just saying. It's hard filming with one hand, honestly. And now I'm drinking tea. <laughs> Very aesthetic stuff here. It's tasting good, but I'm still feeling a bit hungry. I don't know, but I think it's just out of habit <laughs> for eating too much. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start restart my day again, get up from here, and yeah, actually, as I sit right now, my view is like a clothing line because in Portugal, most places don't have dryers, so you have a clothing line to hang your clothes. Or also there's an iron rack that you can use to hang your clothes as well inside if it's too cold out. Like in Jamaica, it's the same. You wash your clothes in a washing machine or by hand and you hang it outside on a clothing line. I didn't expect that here in Portugal, but I understand because it's sunny most times of the year. So why not use the sun? Yeah. And here. Okay, so I just took down the curtains from the window and all the sunlight coming in is kind of inspiring me to kind of sit down and talk to you a bit um, before I continue packing again. Plus also I need to kill a bit of time and that breakfast that I had was not enough because I'm still hungry. But anyways, I wanted to talk to you about five things. Wow, my hands are dry. Five things this is even drier anyway five things um i wish i knew before coming to portugal number one the minimum wage the minimum wage here is four euros an hour online it says 4.85 euros four euros and 80, 85 cents but a lot of places pay four euros an hour and that's one thing i wish i knew <laughs> if you're earning four euros an hour because living in lisbon it's not that cheap it's not cheap if you're earning four euros an hour. Next thing I wish I knew is how bureaucratic the system here is. When you need to get anything done, like if you need to take out your NIF number, if you're researching about Portugal, you know what a NIF number is, basically your tax registration number. Oh, it's such a headache because the system is so bureaucratic. It's filled with all this, these firewall steps that you need to do that don't really make much <sighs> I'm, I was gonna say don't really make much sense, but that's the system. I can't criticize a system that, you know, exists somewhere, but it doesn't, it's frustrating. Third thing I wish I knew before I came here is how much a lot of people don't speak English. A lot of people speak English here, but also a vast majority also don't speak English. Yes, this is Portugal and Portuguese is spoken which many Portuguese people have reminded me many times and I do understand that's one reason why I chose the country. Given the basis that a lot of tourists com comes here, there are a lot of immigrants, expats, whatever you call it, international students, international, international community here. I'm surprised that more people don't speak English, especially young people. Even in government places where they deal with a lot of internationals like processing of documents of internationals from around the world they still don't speak english they still don't speak english so yeah 
Portugal is really warm in the summer. It's like amazing here. Um, but in the winter time, in the cold time, which is about three months for the year or four, I think here it's cold, um, like cold, I guess, compared to like other countries around Europe. A lot of the homes are much older, like over 100 years old or something. And as a result, a lot of times there are no like or there isn't any heating system in the homes or apartments so during the cold months it's cold inside in order to sleep very comfortably here like i would wear this and put another one on top another hoodie then i will be in like a long pajamas then i'll have some winter socks on and sometimes i will sleep with my scarf and also beanie and i'm not exaggerating when i'm moving i always realize that i have so much stuff even when i don't i get this sort of weird frustration about stuff that i have and i have this urge to sell or give away here in lisbon you have um, two facebook groups here where you basically can give stuff for free and if you need stuff there that someone is giving away you can get it for free so one of them is called buy nothing lisbon and the other one is called free your stuff lisbon so I'm going to post on both pages to see if anyone wants um, whatever I decide to give away. So basically, I'm just taking photos and just posting it. That's basically technically what I'm doing here. I'm going to end the video here. Um, yeah, and thank you for spending the morning with me. Is it what time is it? It's 1 p.m. So yeah, you spend the morning with me. Thank you. And I'll see you in another video. Bye. Also remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Maybe by the end of the month. I'm stretching it maybe to the end of March. So thank you.